Most good horsemen are going to talk about getting the reins to be connected to the feet or the reins to be meaningful to the feet. You want to get to their feet through their mind. In other words, whenever you lift up a rein, it needs to mean something to a foot, not just only bend the head around. So it, it needs to be meaningful. And you can get that beginning on the ground with your lead rope. When you're on the ground, your lead rope is your reins. And you can see the feet, so you can you can work to really get in time with them better. As the foot's about to leave the ground, that's when you can do the most with it. There's other points in the stride also, but that one is the one you can do the most with it. So you can speed him up, slow him down, move it over, move it back. That's what we're talking about, getting the reins to connect to the feet. Really working on your timing, but getting the horse to feel back, not just running off, moving away from pressure. This exercise is a really good way to get a horse to hook on to you mentally. Uh, a lot of times folks think that getting a horse to hook on to you is only something that's done in the round pen or only something that's done with green horses. Why? Well, it's something that can be done with just about every horse that you pick up the lead rope with. And I think that it should be. I'm not just dragging a horse around or having him follow me. I'm trying to draw him to me. And, and to be one with him. So I, I've got to give him a reason to look to me, to want to be with me. Just adjusting his foot to go someplace it wasn't intending to go in, on its own. I can ask him just doing a little, little whoa, little half halt there. Slow his foot down. I bring it forward, further. I can bring it off to one side or off to the other. I, I'm really working on my timing to when the foot is available that I can influence it to go somewhere else other than he had in mind to put it. Sometimes we get to a horse's mind through his feet and sometimes we get to the feet through the mind. But if we can get in time with their feet, get connected to their feet, then we will get connected to their mind. Lead them with quality. Pay attention to what are their feet doing. Work on your timing. I'm working on my ride right here. I'm working on my ride. I'm riding this horse. Here's my reins. I'm not just dragging him around or saying, follow me. Some of these horses follow real good and some of them don't follow at all. Some of them lead pretty fair and some of them don't lead worth a darn. Some of them drag. There you probably have some of those same things under saddle. I'm trying to clean that up down here on the ground. But I want them to pay attention to what's coming down the lead rope, not just follow me. There we go. There might be a time I've got to open a gate and then send him on through the gate. That if I've got him leading and I can circle him, I can send him through the gate or into the trailer, close the gate, go on through. But if all he does is follow my body, if I'm trying to send him in a trailer and I lead him up to the trailer and I stop and say, go, he says, no, I'm supposed to follow your body. I can't go. But if I've taught him to follow the fill on the rope, he can go on in. That sounded like my Sunday morning preaching, didn't it? You can take your, your groundwork as deep as you want to go with it. You know, a lot of times people think, oh, I'll do a few circles, that's it. Well, how much do you want to put into your groundwork? You can put a lot into it. How much feel do I want to offer? How much do I want to think about? I can, I'll show you a way that you can find where their feet are without looking at them. 